Hey YouTube, welcome to One Little Coder. If you have been missing the Mid Journey V4 access, then this video is going to help you to create Mid Journey V4 style images using a fine-tuned stable diffusion model. Thanks to Prompt Hero, who has created a fine-tuned version of Mid Journey 4 stable diffusion model, and they've made it also available the, on Hugging Face Model Hub. So all we have to do is use this fine-tuned Mid Journey V4 diffusion model and then add the style in this case which is mid journey v4 style at the start of the prompt and we are going to get a very close to mid journey style images it may not be exactly the same thing but from what i have tried i've really been impressed with the results that i've got so let's get into the video the first thing that you have to do is this google collab notebook will be in the youtube description you can straight away start but if you do not want to use my notebook and you want to start from scratch first step is make sure that you have got a gpu runtime select runtime click change runtime and then select hardware accelerator gpu once that is done so your notebook is ready for us to start the next step is you need to install three important libraries transformers diffusers and accelerate the code will work even if you do not have accelerate but it is not going to be working at an accelerated pace so going to be slow so once you have all the libraries installed the next step is for you to load the diffusers library especially from diffusers import stable diffusion pipeline if you want to do image to image this is not the code for it but here you have to particularly focus only on text to image give a text prompt and then generate an image an ai generated image Next thing is import torch. That's just for data type you need. The next thing is you need to define the model path. The model actually comes from Hugging Face Model Hub and the path is basically you have to copy this and then you have the model path. So model underscore path is equal to prompt hero slash mid journey for diffusion. The next thing is you need to start downloading the model and um, it's quite simple. Stable diffusion pipeline dot from pre chain give the model path and the torch data type which is torch.float16 and assign it to the object called pipe in my case it took about seven minutes on google collab but i don't know how it'll it'll be on your um, google collab in the kind of mission that you get but in my case it took about seven minutes so have some patience when you're downloading them the next thing is once you have successfully downloaded the model move the model content to its CUDA so that we can leverage the gpu it's always a good practice for us to validate whether we have got gpu in fact, like before you do anything, you can do NVIDIA and SMI. And then this will ideally tell you what kind of GPU machine you have got. Like we have got Tesla T4, but if you further want to verify it, you can verify it like this. And if you know that you have got GPU access, then you have to say pipe is equal to pipe.2 CUDA. And that is going to move your model content from CPU to GPU. And now at this point, we are quite set for us to run our first mid journey style stable diffusion image i'm going to call it a mid journey one mid journey v4 image for now to keep it simple so that i don't say the entire big name but when i say mid journey v4 image i don't mean creating using mid journey but i mean creating using the fine tuned model of mid journey on stable diffusion and that is exactly what we're going to do now so select create a base prompt so you can add, come here and add the base prompt in this text. And this base prompt is taken and then the prefix, which is mid journey v4 style is added to the base prompt. Then you can see the entire prompt here and you can now generate the result. Here we are not changing the number of inference step. We are not changing the guidance scale, but those are the parameters you should be ideally playing with for you to get the right set of results based on the right set of trade-off that you have got depending upon your gpu memory depending upon the time you want to take for one inference so you can play with parameters like guidance scale inference steps at this point we have successfully managed to learn how to create an image so what i've done is i've done a couple of prompts from twitter finding out what people have done with mid journey and then how does it look i don't have apple to apple comparison here but you can see the output of this particular model and that is quite impressive and you can see here this is like phantasmal iridescent portrait of a woman and you can see this is um this is very much like mid journey like anybody who has seen mid journey pictures would immediately recognize this the style is quite mid journey style and just just for your information 
once you store the result and result the next thing you need to do is result dot images of zero and then save the image if you want to just download it you can click the folder icon and then you can download the image otherwise just display the image the next prompt is a beautiful anime cyborg girl and you can see this girl looks cyborgish and this girl is indeed beautiful and i can see the consistency in eyes like even if it is not perfect still i see some consistency in eyes which is a problem that i've seen in stable diffusion in the past so again once again a great job mid journey so the next thing is a full body view of Sam samurai warrior in the year 2432 i don't get to see the full body i don't get to see the head but this is definitely the samurai warrior because i've seen the movie samurai i don't know if it is reality but this is quite good the next thing is it's just a simple prompt it just says distant lightning storm and get the result save the image and then display the image and you can you can actually see uh, like you have a very big ground and then you can see distance distant far away lightning the next thing is a corgi riding a bike ascii art so i saw a few people trying to create ascii art using mid journey v4 and i would say it has not come out very well maybe i can change the guidance scale i can run it for more time like using the inference step but from the default setting it's it's nice it looks like embroidery to me but it doesn't look great as like i saw on the twitter tweet and the next thing is a close-up portrait of a, of a cyber geisha a glossy white and you know it just goes on and then you can see that it is pretty good it is it is actually pretty good it looks really nice I like i don't know what does it mean but it looks really nice so the next thing is i think the prompt here is a dot so one of the thing that i saw on a lot of tweets is that for mid journey if you just give a simple dot even then it produces feminine result but yeah i mean maybe that is completely random because i gave a dot and i didn't get a feminine result but the end result is really good but not what a lot of tweets said. The next thing is women in kimono, detailed soft ambience, Japanese influence. And again, it's pretty good. Like I see depth of field, um, very portraitish image. The face is not quite good, but the color combination, the, the, the depth of field, everything looks really good to me. Again, a beautiful anime cyborg girl with yellow eyes wearing a cat hoodie. This is amazing. So we have got, I don't know, the eyes are not yellow, but the cat hoodie is nice. The sunlight is really nice. So you can see one side of the image having really good bright sunny light and the other side doesn't have that sunlight. And this is a pretty good image. So overall, from my experience, if you ask me, does it make a difference having this fine tuned version of using, I mean, rather than using a default stable diffusion? Yes, absolutely. I think there is, there is really a difference. I have not done like apple to apple comparison. Like I said, I didn't do a mid journey, actual mid journey versus the stable diffusion fine tune. Also, I didn't do stable diffusion versus the stable diffusion fine tune. But from what I've seen and what I've always aspired to see mid journey, you know, mid journey kind of images on stable diffusion without apple to apple comparison, I can really feel good. Like when I see these images, the kind of details that the images got, the color tone, the lighting, um, I think everything looks so mid journeyish and it looks amazing. And thanks, thanks once again to the Prompt Hero team who fine tuned this model using Dream Booth and then also uploaded this model on Hugging Face Model Hub for all of us to use with just a simple style added at the start of the prompt, which is mid journey V4 style. Like I said, this Google Collab notebook or the Jupyter notebook will be linked in the YouTube description. And I hope that you really enjoy this tutorial in making mid journey style AI generated images using a fine tuned stable diffusion model completely for free on GPU on Google Collab. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in the next video.